Hey, yo, Jay. What did you explain to me the other day about organizational transformation? Okay, look, so the other day when we were talking about organizational transformation, I was giving, I was giving the initial fitness example because it's a super, super easy example. So I actually, you know, pre-planned this. So for when you ask me this question again, um, so like I said, I gave you that fitness example of organizational transformation, right? So let me give you another easy, easy, pretty easy example to understand. So Johnny B wants to lose 40 pounds, right? Now he makes a commitment to uh, exercise for like two hours per day, right? So he goes out, he makes the commitment to exercise for like two hours today. So, you know, in, in his workout routine, you know, he's going to get the fruits of his labor through going to exercising two hours per day. In his brain, he thinks all he needs is exercise, right? So he goes out and he exercises. So, you know, four months roll by and he's only lost around like four pounds, right? And that's not what we want. So he's like, okay, this exercise stuff is not really working. What am I doing wrong, right? So in, in this vicinity, he is solely focused on the exercising, right? And when you're solely focused on the exercising, you don't really have the best of both worlds because there are variables that are missing in your solving process, right? So now a few months goes by and Johnny goes to the doctor or to the dentist, wherever Johnny is, right? So Johnny sits down, he picks up uh, the Men's Health magazine, right? Johnny picks up the Men's Health magazine and he pages through and he sees an article about, you know, the, the only workout program that you need. And there's a little bit of piece of nutrition. So he picks it up, he reads it, and he realizes there are more variables to fitness than just working out. He realizes that there is like this 80, 20% like a relationship when it comes to actually losing weight and when it comes to actually like, uh, you know, making progress in your like the, in the fitness stuff, right? So he, he figures out, okay, well, uh, he, he then goes, he takes that information and he goes out and he, he finds someone specifically that can help him with the food, right? So he spends all of his attention now on the food because he realizes that exercise is only 20% of the equation and eating is 80% of the equation, right? So he, Johnny was exercising like two hours per day. So what Johnny now does is he cuts out exercising two hours a day. He only exercises one hour a day and he goes and he applies the stuff that he now learns about nutrition. So um, you see what, what is cool is that Johnny has now these solving variables that he's playing with, right? But what happens is that Johnny O Johnny is basically the CEO of his uh, of Dash Media also, right? Now, Dash Media has been around for like six months, but he's been struggling. He's only been generating around $5,000 per month. His retainers hasn't been where he wants them to be. And this is a, so Johnny realizes, well, look, maybe I have some of these solving variables wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm missing some things, right? So he takes the same stuff that he learns from fitness and he pushes it over to business. And he's like, okay, well, you know, it's been eight months with the initiative that we started and there hasn't been any sort of progress that we've made, right? So like, why don't we just do the same thing we did with fitness? So he goes out and he maps out everything he needs. So what, what does Johnny do? Johnny goes ahead and he calls up his friend Jean-Jacques from Southfield Systems, right? He calls up his friend and he's like, you know, Jean, uh, what is it that you think we need to do? So, and then we elaborate, right? So he specifically goes, so what is the main thing that makes your company work? Jay asks, right? So Jay then goes out and he asks him, what is the main thing you need to do? So the comp, like it, it splits up like this, right? So it's the employees that do the work with inside of the company. It's the people that engage with the processes inside of the company, right? So that they are in, those processes are enabled by technology and machines, right? So in the future, it is still going to be the same employees that do the work through the processes, right? Now, what enables these machines to work is the, is the physical humans implementing the, the, the initial like work related stuff. They program them, they build them, they work them. So, you know, what is, what's the difference? So the difference is in the employee's mindset, right? That's where the difference becomes in the mindset and the behavior will be different processes and this will simplify or this will simplify what they need to do and the processes will be more efficient because they have more energy because they have better training and so you know the process will be smoother it's just what it is so and then jay says well that's right right so there's another three factors right which you 
which do you think is the most important? So this is now Jay asking Johnny, which do you think is the most important? So right, and then Johnny will say, of course, it's the employees, right? So it's the employees that are the most important factor within your business, right? So um, instead of focusing on changing processes and machines, we must focus on the people because the processes and systems are easily updatable and adjustable, right? So within the managerial process, people, you know, the, the only thing that you need to focus on is, is your training on point? If your processes and your systems are in place, then it is the sufficiency and the type of A players. You're looking for A players, right? You don't want to take a C player and turn him to an A player. You want to find A players because that's what's going to give you the most bang for your buck within leverage, right? And we spoke about utilizing different forms of leverage in one of the previous videos that I did. So uh, for the next six months, like uh, Johnny specifically goes, right? For the next six months, Johnny specifically goes and he focuses on his weight losing journey, as I've mentioned, right? He cuts out uh, doing the two hours of exercise. He focuses all of his energy on the nutrition side of things and bang, you know, he loses 40 pounds more than his initial goal. And so Johnny takes that same principle and he applies it to his business, right? So what, uh, what a difference one factor can make, right? So Johnny takes the same approach now and focuses on his employees, right? So mindset, behavior, training, uh, process, uh, having training set for the processes that are built inside of the business and the infrastructure, right? So at this and his specific agency, right? And solely six months into the process, you know, so much has changed with inside of his business because now he's actually having traction. Now he's actually producing more revenue, right? So Johnny has learned the important lesson that there can be many factors that uh, affect a system, right? And it's important to identify and to focus on the speed and the energy that's needed on top of like the specific direction that you're rowing into, right? It's, uh, it's being able to re-engineer the full process and being able to find the actual you know, problem, find the root cause of the problem, solve that, and then we move forward because it's in the solving process, all these variables they play a sufficient role. Now, um, guys, there is, uh, I will, I will, you know, recommend you guys checking out the documents down below. They're free for download. So check them out down below. I highly recommend them. They will help you within your processes and within your business. So guys, this has been Triple J. Um, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.